welcome back to my craft room for those of you who are new here I want to let you know that I do have an Etsy shop I'll link it down below so you can check out my items I personalize about anything a while back I did a video on how I design and package an Etsy tumbler and that was very popular you guys asked me to do another craft video so you ask I deliver if you follow me on my Instagram and if you know me, you know that I love Bad Bunny. I love his music. I am a huge fan. These hoodies are inspired by his concert that he had in September during quarantine. He performed in New York in a bus. He is amazing! If you didn't watch his concert, you missed out. But if you did watch his concert, you need to have one of these bad boys. I have these in t-shirts, crewnecks, and hoodies. They are available on my Etsy shop. And I will show you guys how I design these. So I will be packaging an order with you guys. I will show you my freebies and my new care instructions for clothing. I'm really excited to show you guys these designs. I forgot to mention that I will be showing how I tag my clothes with my logo. If you want to watch how I design these, stay tuned. And here we go. This is the design that I'm going to be using and printing. So we want to make sure that we select the material to everyday iron on. I always put more pressure and make sure that your mirror is on. If not, your image is going to be backwards. And now I'm just loading it in my mat. While that's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and select the sweater that I'm going to be using. Okay, so right now I'm aligning the designs. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything is centered properly. I am measuring um, from the top. And I'm going to go ahead and measure the sides as well. Make sure that they are even. So that's um, close to 6 inches. So that's close to 6 inches. So that's good. And I just kind of move it a little bit to make sure that it is properly I am a perfectionist so I make sure that it is exactly how I want it before I iron on the design okay so I am using the mini iron-on and this is Cricut brand I absolutely love this mini uh, press-on ahead and placed it like the other one and then I went ahead and I already measured on both sides so it is ready to be ironed on so for the back design I am gonna use my easy press too just because it is bigger and the design is bigger it'll be faster um, I love both of them I do love my mini more though uh, so here we go Cricut does have an app where you can just select what kind of material it is and then it'll tell you how long you have to press it for Okay, so I have finally finished the hoodie and I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the back. It, I absolutely love this hoodie. I have one of my own because I attended the concert. But if you, even if you didn't, you should get one. These are super, super cute. So uh, this is ready to go out. I just need to put my tag on it and pack it up. So I'll show you guys how I do tags. I do have a couple orders there uh, that I need to tag. So I'll just do a couple with you guys. Hey you guys, let's talk about tags. So I have personalized my own tags with my business name. And here it is. And I have some with all sizes. This is the hoodie that I just finished. And this is a size medium. So I have a medium tag. So I got this tagger. I think it's called a tagger. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it, was a, it came with instructions and it's super easy to use. But so this is my tag. And I just kind of poke a hole in it. So that's ready. And then I try not to tag on the actual clothes just because I don't want to make a hole. I try to do it on the actual tag. So I grab the tag here. And I just poke a little tiny hole. And then I just press it and then pull it. And then my tag is there. It is so cute. That is such a good way to brand your name. And yeah, so... 
there's that one and I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the back uh, this is a small so we'll go ahead and tag it And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I I absolutely love this. And if you follow me on my Instagram, you, you know that this is a new addition to my craft room. I recently started getting more orders for hoodies, t-shirts, and crewnecks. That's why I got this, just because it makes it look so cute with all my um, inventory and orders that are done. I have my inventory down here, and these are my orders. So I absolutely love it. And then I just kind of leave this hanging here so it's available for next time. Okay, you guys, so we are moving on to packaging the hoodie. I'm going to go ahead and guide you guys through my whole packaging system. And I'm going to show you guys my freebies and my new care instructions for the hoodies. So here we go. So how I recently started shipping my hoodies is in a box so i got these boxes on amazon i'll link them down below um i know a lot of you look for boxes that fit items and so this fits perfect for my hoodies um so we're gonna go ahead and start packaging it i used to package my hoodies and any type of clothing in baggies but i moved to boxes now so now i use boxes they just look so much nicer and everything is more secured in there and especially since i'm doing the freebies it's just so much nicer when you open the box it's just so pleasing so this is the box that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using some tissue paper at the bottom there that's okay get ready okay so we, I lay my base down with the tissue paper and now I'm going to put my hoodie in here. And I'll show you guys so far. This is what it looks like. And it's just so nice to open the box and just see your items rather than pulling it from the bag. And I'll sh let me show you guys. These are the baggies that I used to use uh, before. And these are super cute as well, but I think boxes are just so, so much nicer. Okay, so after I put the hoodie in here, I add my freebie. I have these little pouches. Uh, that I put a scrunchie. I try to match the scrunchie with whatever the item may be. Um, so I think this pink matches better with the hoodie. So I'm going to do a scrunchie. I personalize hand sanitizers that I throw in as freebies. And I put my logo on them. So I just throw in a hand sanitizer in here. Okay, so I have the scrunchie and the hand sanitizer and like i mentioned before i have an etsy shop and i am new to etsy so i really appreciate your reviews when you receive an item because um it really motivates me i try to as hard as i can to meet everyone's expectations so when you leave me a review that really helps me out i designed these um review sheets and they just say that I appreciate your feedback to please leave me a review on my shop. So I include these in my little packaging. Just like that. So this is one of my freebies. Oh, actually, I didn't put it in here. But um, I love Bad Bunny and I add freebies in all of my orders. But for all my Bad Bunny orders, I do add a sticker on there. And I absolutely love this. So I do add it on here as well. 
just like that. Okay, so then I bring this back and I'm going to add the little freebie on here. I'll show you guys how pretty. Okay, so I want to show you my new care instructions that I designed. I absolutely love them. If you've seen my other video, I designed my own Tumblr instructions and they're super cute. I did the same for my um, clothing. So these are the new care instructions that I designed. It is a little t-shirt. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love designing these things for you guys so you when you open your package you absolutely love it so I think these are absolutely cute so I'll put it right there and then I'm also gonna add a thank you card and it just says thank you and my Instagram and my Etsy shop on it so I'll go ahead and do that okay so I have everything on here I'm gonna go ahead and close it before I close the box this is what it looks like Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and print my labels. I have a couple orders that need to go out, so I'm just going to print all the labels all at once. And I do use the Dymo 4XL printer. I absolutely love it. I haven't figured out how to connect it to Bluetooth. So if you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. I haven't tried to look it up either. But so far, I just connected to my laptop with using the USB, which is not bad. But I'm going to go ahead. Before I print my label, though, I am going to weigh this just so I can get the exact measurements. Just because if it's a little under, then they end up charging me later, and I'd rather just do it right the first time. So I do use a little scale to weigh my items, and so I'm just going to weigh it. Okay? Okay, so my labels are going to print right here. I absolutely love this machine. I haven't had any problems with it, but here we go. sticker on my box right here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put my label on the box all right so the label is on there here I'm gonna cover it just because it's the address of the customer and I go I'm gonna go ahead and add a thank you for supporting my business sticker on here I'm going to add one of my stickers and the box as well, just like that. So I have all of this at the front. This box is officially ready to go out. That is how I package and order, you guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I am going to be doing a giveaway in this video. You'll have the option to pick between one of these. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite Bad Bunny song. And I am going to be announcing the winner on my Instagram, so make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. If you're watching this video after I announce the winner, I am so sorry, but I do giveaways very often, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you follow me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and see you next time.